What is up again, guys? Axe here here from Kansas City. She good. What's up again, guys? We are back grabbing some Walmart pallets. <laughs> the crown is rolled. So guys, you know it's winter time. And around this time in the winter, we like to grab some of these Stanley jump stars guys ever start uh, guys are jump starters so those are always convenient to have everybody normally has them uh, in their car whether you're using it for the jump start in the cold the cold temperatures or using them as an air compressor so these are good items to have we also got over here as you can see another of the great things we got on here we got those crickets on here which you guys saw in the Carmen said they're not mm. called crickets <laughs> crickets are animals she said they're called Eye cuts. <laughs> I've always called them crickets. Well, we got some cry cuts on there. Uh, so those are kind of like going to be the bulk of what we're going to have today. Uh, for the most part. We got seven pallets, guys. So that's going to have to be what we're going to have for Christmas time. Uh, so we'll get all those seven pallets. Uh, out here, we'll just kind of pause, and uh, when another pilot comes out, we'll start recording again. So we'll be back. Well, here comes a pilot right now. So here's number two. Got some. We got some. Uh, we got on that one. We got some brother printer. We got some more cry cuts. There's a turntable on there. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. She's going to push that forward a little bit. You know, if you prefer, we can down stack. It's up to you. Okay. okay. Right. I just didn't set this right the first time. All right. You have at it. So here you see, guys, we got some, uh, if you guys can see with the sun in your eyes, here is a, it looks like a printer right there. That's an HP printer. There's a Brothers Color, a laser printer there. So there's a few things there, some more cry cuts. There are quite a few of the cry cuts there. The Explore 3, the Air 2. Got a turntable there. We got a box right here. I don't know what's in there, though. It's a pretty big box, I will tell you that much. That looks like a... What could that possibly be? An air conditioner? That would be crazy. Could be. 
She is correct. Carmen is correct. And air condition. How'd you know that? How did you know that? Oh, you read it. Okay. Reading really helps when you do it sometimes, guys. So we got a big air conditioner there, and that's the other side of there. So there you have that one, guys. She is trying to manipulate. I don't think she's going to get those pallets in there like that. I thought she might just push one after the other. But we'll see. We will see. Looks narrow, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they just got to go one behind the other, I'm thinking. I don't know. Just a little bit. I don't know, that's it. That'll work. Number three, guys. Down a little more. Down a little more. A little more. Perfect. That's it. Number three guys there. We got some sentry safes on there. Beautiful, beautiful. She's getting it in there. As you can see, predominantly we got those um, jump starters predominantly. And if you want to go ahead and set this one up there, then we'll start backing her up after you when you go get the take other one. Fractal, I know, yeah, we gotta take that off for that one. Alright, when you set this one up, Jay, then we'll go ahead and push it to the side after this one. Perfect. Oh, you good. Are you able to take this one? Well, I'm sure you are. Turn it a long way. That would get, yeah, that way we just get a push it back to the other pilot. That makes it, that makes it way better. Keep telling me. Down and back it up, you gotta tip that deal. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do two 
something like that. Nah, you know, because it ain't going to You ain't got the lid. That's, that's just a little man, man. Yeah, like that. That's it. That's it. Now, I don't know about this at all. Captain made it happen. <laughs> Captain made it happen. <laughs> so that is it guy our guy hooked us up really good uh our first driver uh she drives a forklift like me i just might add that so it wasn't no way uh yeah she yeah that would have been tougher but he, he did a hell of a job i appreciate him there's carmen and jt and we're out of here guys we'll see you back in kansas city what is up again, guys? We're back in Kansas City. Ed from Kansas City and JT. Here's what we got. Where's my knife at? My knife was in one of those. Uh... Here's going to be the sum of it, guys. Me and JT, we're going to get this done. This is going to be the sum of it right here. I will go up some more, guys. Open and expand it a little bit so you guys can see. It might be a little too big, but we're going to try to roll with that right there. So here we go, guys. I see right here. Jerry's cutting open the first one right there. We'll just start with one at a time. Let's see what we got here. Get busy with it. Turner, my name is on there. Turner. My name right there, guys. Ed from Kansas City. That's what it's it. Alright. We have made this trip. Me and Jerry was talking about it. Me and JT we were talking about. It. We have made this trip here. As well as Carmen. We have made this trip over uh probably a hundred times, guys. Uh this door here, letting the flies in. You had them, that's all I know. So, yeah, we're, I think, uh, yeah, because I had to use your purse to get it in the door, right? You had to give me your purse when I went back in to get the air thing. Here's one of these, be charged. All right. 
Cool, Jay. So this is what we're looking with right there. These are jump starters, guys, if you don't know what they are. Uh, a lot of car batteries uh, in the wintertime. And it doesn't have to be in the wintertime. It just could be something as simple as a customer really like my car. My car right there, my Mercedes Benz, is having electrical problems, things like that. It's, that's too much information. But anyway, uh, every now and then I have to jump start it, you know. And uh, I might need to re just replace my battery because, you know, it's been over a year and something now. And I probably just need to replace my battery. And I just haven't yet. Uh, my battery light is not on. Battery light for the motor is not on for indicator light. But if you're not familiar with what these are, these are jump starters here. Um, Two kinds. We got different kinds, different kinds here. This is the ever start here. We got a couple other kinds. Whatever. But these are really good, guys. Like if your car battery is, you got a bad battery in your car and you just don't want to buy another one at this time or you can't afford another battery, it might be expensive. Some batteries go up to, you know, they all start about a hundred plus dollars. So uh, keeping a jump starter for a battery, maybe there's something with your vehicle that's causing your vehicle to, that's draining the, the, the life of the battery out of your vehicle. There's something in there that could be malfunctioning or whatever. But these are good to have uh, because uh, they really sell in the wintertime. So in the wintertime, when the cold hits certain cars, it is difficult to start your battery. So that's going to be something good to have. Let this over here. Of course, my key is, uh, my key is in the house. So we're going to get this going here. So we're going to set light things. I'm going to pause and get some of this little area cleared out here so me and Jerry can have a area to work from. So we'll just pause right quick, guys, as we continue this. You know, let's roll, Jay. So, okay. Next, we've got the circuit here. Our cool cut here. Cry cut, as Karma calls it. Got one of those, so we'll stack like things together. Let's get going here. All the cry cuts we put over there. Jerry had that floor three. Another uh, Explorer 3. Got a price tag of $279. So, something like this, we'll try to get a hundred bucks out of it. Uh, $140, you know. Try to get some money out of them, you know. But they got to all be tested. To see if they're working. You know. right, so multiple of these, and we'll get out. We'll move fast. And once we get to you know what well, you know light light items we just pause guys. Looks like we're gonna set stuff on here here. We can we yeah, up like that. Is that lead? Mm -hmm. Hey did you know that I got a mess up on the shore, Jerry? Yeah. All right, guys, so we got a few more right here of these models here. These are the 1500 watts, the, the other box, the Ever Ever Start box, that yellow and gray box is a 1200 amp or watt. Got a few other things on the pallets, guys, that y'all ain't seen yet that we're going to get to. Ton of stuff we got to get tested, checked out. Got the crash stuff there. All right. So a lot of things buried up here in this pallet. Uh, 
here and I want to get to some of the stuff we ain't seen that way I can show them and we can go to the next. We can pause and go to the next. Here's a cry cut here. Make little things for them. You guys can see all of that or not. So we're gonna have multiples of bowls, cry cuts in general. There's a big old safe in there that I don't think I'm gonna be moving too soon. So that's pretty much, other than a safe that's on there, the rest of that pallet there is going to be uh, just jump starters. It's approximately two, four, six, about 30 more jump starters on there. We'll get those out and we'll be right back. I'm gonna pause that. Use one of those girls to work around boys. I want to give a special shout out to the guy at the liquidation site who drove the forklift. Now, if you noticed in the video, there first was a like a supervisor, one of the uh, managers or something that was driving the forklift. She drives a forklift like me, guys. So, getting seven pallets in a 20 foot U haul, the pallets, not just de stacking them, but getting the pallets in the U haul was a challenge. And so I'm thankful for my guy who really arranged it and really kind of had a lot of experience behind uh, arranging and loading. Yeah, push balls. We'll be right back. So here's that safe we were, oh my goodness, it's heavy. It's heavy, guys. All right, here's that safe we were talking about. It is padded pretty good. It could be new. I don't know. I'm not going to open it to check. Uh, they are really handy. As you can see, they're heavy. So I'm going to get this off of me and set her down. I won't set her like in the middle of the floor because it's going to be a problem. I'll set it right there for now. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, we'll, we'll Jerry's already guys. opening it. Jerry's opening her up. Oh, all right, guys. Let's see what we're working with here. Let me do the honors here with this. Take it to the curb. Ah. Really? Yeah. Okay. We have to wait immediately. We got a whole pile of pallets to the rice. So you can have to like <laughs> You can have somebody come pick them pallets up. They go to the they curb. Sell them. If they go to the curb, they just come get them. But. Yeah. They'll come pick them up. 
People, you know, yeah, they feel oh, we it. can run on them, but they're just right there. Oh. Since JT is here, we can help move to the curb. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because I could. My love. Not cute at all. What you got, Jay? We got a. Jerry says brand. How you know it's brand new? No, this, this, this. Oh, the microwave. It's not a microwave. Got a slow juicer here, guys. Okay. It's not a microwave. It's a oh, that uh, yeah. air fryer. Yeah, air fryer. Jerry says brand new, guys. I don't know if I believe him or not. Here, no. I don't know if I believe JT or not. It's a brand newer. It's a brand newer. It's a brand newer. Cause it's brand new, don't mean it work, right? You got to see if it work. But we have had plenty that were brand new that didn't brand work. Brand new, guys, that did not work. Look at this generic box. Let you guys see the box. Totronics. Totronics. How would you pronounce that? Tail You pronounce the Tay and the O? That's what I would do. I thought when you get two vowels together, you're supposed to just the second vowel. It's not an English word, so. Right. So it's definitely. Yeah, yeah, our, our All right, cool. guys. We have a Tay Tonic. Tay. Okay, got some power out of one of those. That is it looks nice. like. That is nice. Yep, got power. Okay, got power. Yep, that's how we're going to sell it, guys. We're going to figure out a way how to test some of these jump starters without necessarily creating a malfunction in them before we sell them. Like, you know, normally with jump starters, you get that spark, but those are different since they're jump starters. I don't know if they respond like the regular uh, battery cables to the uh, battery cables to. We just want to see if it's working. Look it up for you guys. Oh. Babe, hand me the cord right there. Hand me the cord right there. Okay. We got we got a cord right here. She's gonna unplug that right quick and hand me a cord. I'm gonna plug her up. She's not gonna unplug it. Alright. You gonna hold it? Work. Oh, you don't have to. Work. We about to find out. I heard it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom, let me put the thing. Power button right there, Jerry. Mm -hmm. All right, bend on that side, Jerry. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so. And start button. Right there. Pause. Right here. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Works. It's going, guys. We'll stop it. Pause it. Unplug it. Before it gets hot, mm -hmm. we'll deal with the rest later. Oh, it's new. So it's new, new, Jerry? Mm -hmm. It's new. It definitely looks new. New, new. See? No, no, they're not that. See? New, new. <laughs> it's a new, new for you. I think the back's up there. Let me see where the handle is at. See where the handle is. No, no. I was on the sides, bro. Right? On the sides. It was on the side. Let me show you. It was on the side. It was on the side. I'm going to put them through on the top. Like that. Like that. The other one. Anybody need air fryer? Right? I know you need a jump starter, but we just want to be air fryer too. There it goes. No. Maybe. So 
for one new new there. All right, so what else is on this palette that we have not shown? We have a turntable. Bluetooth turntable. That's the thing I'm excited. I got technique. Technica? Yeah, te Technica. Turntable here. We will see I'm if that is. I'm testing that because that's the only thing that makes my life happy. You know what? It's the only thing that You're going to test it? Happy. All right, Carmen is going to test it. Here we have a vacuum, guys. Robot vacuum. I don't see the name on there. It could be a generic one. But we're supposed to have a Roomba in here, too, guys. I don't know if this is that one or not. I know, right? It would say, but it don't say it. This is just a generic one. No worries, though. We have plenty of vacuums for sure. I'll just set that to the side for now. No, no, no. We got a shark navigator right here. Got a shark navigator here. You guys can see. It don't look new very well. Okay. Then we have another shark vacuum here. Hoover. I'm sorry. Hoover and a shark. That's all that we got. Is that one there? That's all that we got, guys, on that palette that we have not shown you the rest of the air fryers and jump starters. And so we'll be back once we clear this one out. Number three, guys. Palette number three. It looks like to me that it's going to be a lot of a lot of what you've already seen. With the exception of a few items, I'll show you. I'll be more than happy to show you. So, number one, we got this guy here. Have, I don't know what you want to do with them colors, but they buy. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're going to set them out on the curve. So, we got those cry cuts here, right? Exactly. Little small ones. Sometimes they're for cups or bowls or things like that. I think this one might be for what? Yeah. Look like it has cups on there. It has cups on there, so maybe it's for the cups. I don't know. Cry cut joy, guys. And then we have also this guy right here. The charging dock for the Quest Oculus by Anchor. So that could be cool. Could be brand new. I don't know what it sells for. It don't really, really go for much money. It's just a charging dock. All right, put this crack cut over here with the rest. All right, so put this over here too. And I think, careful, JT. I think this is going to be an air purifier. A little purifier here, guys. Air purifier. I don't know if it's damaged or what, but we can set it right there right now. And I'm guessing, well, we have something on the bottom here that's pretty, pretty big. Try not to miss that, miss that step there. Them other two right there, them the one thousand. What's that, Jay? The one thousand amp. Twelve hundred amp. Yeah. Twelve hundred amp. Oh, one thousand, like you said. Yeah. We had a couple more one thousands over here too. That were out of place. Yeah. I don't know if you want to put them. We don't worry about it. You know. I kept your 800 from one spot, but. Got a smaller one here, that jump starter, right here. I use one of these for my car. This is the size I use for my car, right here. It says 200, 2500 amps. 
Uh, so I use this card, but it only has like what? Um, I don't know which watch it has or whatever. But I use that one for mines, guys. And uh, I, I normally have to use it about, depending on where I'm at, if I'm at the flea market or something, a couple times. You know, depending on how, how many times I'm in and out of my car. So I think there's some things at the bottom here we'll look at and see what they are. Oh, okay. This here is going to be another of the turntables. Right here, guys, so Carmen can check that one too when she checks the other one. It's going to be the bigger style turntable. We have one of those, guys. There, it's going to be a repeat of what we've already shown. A lot of cricket or cry cut on there. About four more of those, and the rest are going to be jump starters. So we'll be back at the end in a second with pallet number four. I don't think we have these in jump starters, Jerry. Yeah, I don't think so either. hundred jump starters guys we're at about three thousand dollars into this they ain't including labor and everything else that goes with this I do mean a lot of jump starters this is a good time to have them too you know, I saw this auction, I saw this auction, I was on there last, last, it was, the day is the 18th, it is Friday the 18th, not Friday the 16th, or 13th, it's Friday the 18th, and I, I saw this auction on, this would have been, It would have been on, I woke up and I was looking at things to buy. So it would have been like, on like last, I won this auction, we're picking it up Friday, so I had to win it maybe Thursday, last Thursday. This is Friday, I won it last Thursday, last week. And so, I, I just so happened to be online looking at, things to buy, and uh, uh, something told me the night before, Wednesday night, something told me, make sure I check Walmart and see what Walmart has, because I need uh, I need to see what they got, and so I got up, you know, I didn't do it Wednesday, I did it Thursday, and as soon as I got on there, I saw these, and I was like, I saw them, and still had like four, three, four hours left before the auction was going to end. And so I started looking at pallets and I started bidding on the first couple. And I was like, okay, don't seem like they're too high. They're starting at like 160, 180, 190 bucks. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I'm bidding and then I'm losing like 200 something dollars because there was so many ending about the same time. And I'm like, man, I lost the first two auctions and I was like, oh man. Then I lost the next auction, and as I started losing more auctions, because they had probably about 13 auctions, if not more, guys, because that's just when I caught it. So as I began to bid on these auctions, I began to lose. And the more I began to lose the auctions, and as the auctions became more limited, more people were bidding on them. 
So it became a real problem because it was like, okay, I'm trying to win some of these because you know you need these for the winter time. They're just good sellers for the winter. So I was like, okay, um, the first couple auctions that I saw were selling for about 200 some dollars, 190 something like that. And it was, like I said, about 16, 18 auctions. I don't remember, it was a lot. So when I lost the first couple, I was like, I wasn't really anxious or anything. I wasn't dis disappointed. But then I began to notice the prices, more people were bidding on the auctions that were left. And it became a reality that, okay, the people who lost, like me, those other auctions are now trying to bid on the remaining auctions. So it just so happened to turn out that the auctions that were left, such as, uh, it was probably about 12 auctions left. It probably wasn't that many, guys. When I lost, it's probably about 12 left. And when I lost probably the next four, because they were all ending at the same time, and it's hard to look at that many screens, windows open on my computer. So I was like, oh boy, this is difficult. And it was difficult to keep up with it because the, the auction site did not have real time. So, uh, meaning that if you bid and the auction uh, time increases because it's under a five minute mark, if you bid again, it takes it back to five minutes. So if you go back to the listing, you won't see the real time it's hard, basically what I'm saying, it's hard to see it in real time. So it made it difficult to keep up with them. So I just came up with a strategy, uh, lined them all up in the order that they were ending and just kind of watch them as quick, quick as I can, bid on them as much as I could. And unfortunately with the auctions that were left, like seven auctions, auctions left, I ended up having to pay more because they're the last auctions left for jump starters and these things here, these cry cuts and stuff. So a lot of people were bidding, more people were bidding on the fewer pallets that were left. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. The less pallets that were remaining, the more losers, the more people who are trying to now win some, like my circumstance. So it reached a point where now the people who were trying to win some had to win some. So now here I am paying about $400, $450, $500 per pallet. So I was like, oh man, that was not cool when I could have got the first few for a couple of hundred. So yeah, that's where we are with those. We got like seven pallets, you know? And yeah, it was tough, guys, because, uh, you know, it's easy when you got 20 or whatever pallets or 16 pallets. It's easy then because, you know, uh, it's easier. But when the pallets, you know, it's easier. When the pallets became few, then uh, that means more pe people were bidding, more people, a, pool, a bigger pool of people were bidding on fewer pallets. So it's different, like I said, it's easier when you got 20, 16 auctions going on and you got 20 bidders, right? The amount of pallets compared to the bidders are kind of even. But when you only got 10 pallets left and 20 bidders, then it's really bad. Or 25 bidders and 10 pallets and it becomes bad. So that's what I want to say. We're on the next pallet now, guys. Let's go. On here we have left. Jerry has one. I cut. He will show you that. I have here. Jerry has cry cut there. And I think I have a purifier, guys. Another air purifier. Cry cut. What kind is that? The press two is called. Yep. It's press two. Turn around the other way. Turn the box around. So you can see the press two. It's the press two. That's the press two, guys. And I just have a good box. We are on number number three. Pallet number four. I'm sorry. Nope. Yep. Pallet number four. Hmm. Pallet number four, here we come. It's not that easy. Right. So figure out something different. Where are you going with that, Jim? Right here. Oh, right, inside there? Sure. What about this one? Oh, you got a box of slices? Here. Where you going there? Cool. Oh, okay. here it is, right here. The one just like it, yep. There it is. Alright, guys, next in line. First thing I want to bring out. 
is a Hoover. Now, somebody, while I was on the road, somebody messaged me about this Hoover cleaner. And I said I didn't have Hoover, I had uh, Bizzle, which costs more. I sell it for more, mainly because of the condition. The condition I had of this last one I just sold, or I had previously sold, uh, it has minor little defects. So I was only selling it for a little bit. So now I have another one. Don't know if it works yet, but we'll get to that. Those are all going to go with me to the flea market. Purifier here, got a purifier here, and as we're getting further away from the actual product, I'll move the camera up for you guys. Let me pause and get it up. So, there you have it right there, guys. Uh, I think that is a great view for you guys right there. I'll get this powder out of the way. You guys can see for curve. So, what is this? Look out there, I got it holding up that camera right there. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So that uh, it don't fall when we dump and dump them down. So I'll see how tall you are up in there. Okay, so I'll come down just a little bit, guys. Fortunately, as far as it goes, so I got to raise it up. It does it right there, guys. Probably a little more than that. There we go. That's cool. That'll work. All right, get this pallet to the curb, guys, and I'll be back. <sighs> all the work we got to do, guys, all the work. I got some more money cash out there. All right, uh, yep, let's go. Let's go. All righty. Another dump star in here. We'll pause, guys, see if I can get you a different angle. So it's Friday, guys, right? It's Friday. And me and JT ain't even begun to start testing stuff, and it's already like 6 o'clock. We're about to lose sunlight in about an hour. So we still got a long night ahead of us just to prep for the weekend. Ooh. Just a prep for the weekend. Uh. Remember last uh, 
Christmas year we had all them jump starters. Yeah. You may have people returning too, right? Hey man, this ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this ain't working. And we replaced them. And the people that we replaced, I think we had one guy came back a lot of times, didn't he, Jerry? Yeah. He kept working with us, though. He probably came back like three times, maybe. And we gave him a new one, another one. And he finally he didn't come back no more. Yeah. There are sometimes we get some that don't work right. And, you know, they may about an 800 water for probably 40 bucks. And so we would sell the 1200 watt ones for uh, 50 and 60 bucks. Uh, 1500 watt ones or amp ones, the 1500 box for like 65, 70 bucks, you know. And sometimes we get somebody who might bought an 800 one, you know, you know, no matter if a male, male or female, woman or man. And sometimes, you know, if after a few inconveniences, we might upgrade them to a 1500 for free, you know. Okay, so here we have a air purifier, guys. Air purifier there. Right. Here is a, another air purifier, guys. Sure, we got that from having a lot of those guys. Another air purifier. We'll definitely get these small things checked. I want to make sure we have some of those that set out there. The market here is a fireplace, guys. Dura flame, electric stove, get her checked out, you know. Jerry's rocking with that. Let me help him with some of this. Alright, here's a flame thing here. Jerry was talking about We're going to, <laughs> my brother Jerry, JT was talking about we're going to check everything right out here, right? At the garage. I said, man, all these mosquitoes out here. He said, I don't care. I got all my, I got all my long sleeves. I'm ready. I said, I ain't going to be getting all you up. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said, I ain't getting it. What we got here? Probably a purifier, right? me. Big old so. battery in the box, guys. That jump start in the box. What was putting the loose one there, Jay? I put them, I got it right there. But back and back. Gonna, yeah, I got them right there, but shoot. Might as well put them where we can get to them. Okay, how about here? Put them where we can. Charge them first, right? Yeah. Okay. How about them back there? I already come on. Alright, I already come on. Yeah. Here's the cricket guys in the box. You guys can see. It looks good too. I don't know, but it looks good. I think you guys can see a crack out of the cricket again. A cry cut guys. In the box here. With tape there, guys. We use that for packing. Here's the cry cut right here, fellas. Ladies, guys. Right here. Put that in first, and that. charger is not in the box so that's always a bummer guys uh, we have some chargers this is a I don't know the charger capacity on there guys I honestly don't you guys see that pack charger capacity on there But it looks like it could be a 12 or a 19 volt. I don't know. We will get to that later. Gator. That's 
good too. A little variety, you know. We got a lot of them, guys. I mean, a lot of them. Just a couple more. We got several of them. So it should be like 20 something of Maybe the other pallets. Still got three whole pallets left, guys. We're rocking. So we got the Explorer 3. We got the Cry Cut Explorer 3. We got the Cry Cut Maker 3. Then we got the Cry Cut Air 2. But the one thing is, for, here's one thing, guys. Even though it says this on the box, mm -hmm. it may not be what's inside the box. You can have the Cry Cut Explorer 3 here. But inside the box could be a cheaper, less expensive model, the Air 2. So it all depends. Sometimes it's not uh, the correct item in the box. Got here, Jay. Oh, this is cutie. Wow, where you get this big thing from? And here's the purifier. Everybody likes to have like that one. Go check it out right quick, Harmon. See what it is. Look right behind me. I got a knife over here. I'll cut this next box open. Give you the knife. There's a uh, plug right there. Right about a long bottom. Throw it dry. Plug. It's on the ground. White cord. Mm -hmm. Now, just because the sad, the sad truth is, guys, just because you have a lot of something, don't mean all of them work. I'm going to leave it at that. Just got to hope for the best. So we'll put this one. I got another, another brothers right here. Ah. Here's another microwave or air fryer. We'll call it the and then we got the we have a sewing machine, guys. Sewing and quilting machine. Let's see what state she is in. It's a lot of plastic, not the heavy duty kind. Looks great though, guys. Looks really great. Got some other pieces and stuff in here. A lot of other stuff in here. Power cord. Another piece here. We will get her checked out. We'll get her checked out. Alright. So I'm thinking there's another safe. They're going to have it safe. Turntable there. Mm -hmm. I want to pause for a minute, guys, and we'll get clear up some space again. Carmen is testing that with the remote. Oh, you got the remote. Oh, the batteries don't work? Need batteries. Need batteries? 
Okay, she's going to get new batteries, guys. For that guy right there. Look like it want to do something, don't it? Turn the fan on? Well, I guess it's already on, right? We shall see. To be continued. You feel something coming out of there? Huh? Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. I can feel it. You can feel it. T said he can feel it. Can Carmen get back? She will finish it. Blade. Hmm? Blade. What's that? That's what it is. Blade. No blade. No blade? Yeah. What's a no blade? Like a pen. We got blades. Oh, okay. It says bladeless. No blades on it. Oh, look at her. So it has a filter in it too, right? I don't see no filter. It's in here. Oh, a little tiny thing. Ooh, guys, beautiful. I'm hmm? I'm still batteries. Okay. Okay, guys. Charge them extra for the batteries. Ah. Okay, so we got this here, guys. This guy right here. Box very light, so probably missing some pieces. Hopefully not. Another one we have. We got more. We got just a ton of these, mm -hmm. guys. I mean, and that's a good thing. It's Christmas time already, almost, guys. That is a good thing. We're not upset about that at all. That we have a lot of those. So, where are we going to start putting these at now? Right into where you're standing. Right here. Yeah. Right. I think the beauty, the beauty of winning this lot here, as you can see, this one went on sale, guys, for that price there. That's what I mean by this particular model here, the Air 2. Sometimes people will take the Explore 3 and they're exchanging. So I want to get these last couple of items out of the way so uh, I can show you some of the things you guys haven't seen, and that way we can uh, get on with the, with the new stuff. 6981. So I'm going to get some of this stuff out the way. That way you guys can see what we got on there. So it's one like we got two over there too, baby. I might get this to have something. So we have this guy here. We have this guy here. I don't know what goes there. I'll have to check that. There's a copier. Yep, printer. Printer, copier, color printer, whatever. Yep, there's a copier. And a printer. Then we have this we one. Have a guy. We have another one here. I need to take him to the super thing. You had it. Yeah, definitely. He had a guy, no, that's the rubber. That's from the tape, that's blue from the tape. Then yeah. we have. You had a guy asking. Pack of clothes. Yeah. I'm gonna record. This is very heavy, guys. So Which leads me to the question that I was gonna, <laughs> statement I was about to make when I was asking about. Me and JT, we had to have the people on the forklift push the pallets back 
as far as they could, three and three of them back. But the ones that were in the back that could not be pushed any further, me and JT had to get up against the wall and push with our feet and all of that just to just to reposition the pallets where they're back in the back and against the wall. So that was really so some hard work. We have brothers. This is a heavy one. It's a good one. We might have to keep this one. Color laser printer. We may have to keep this one if it is working. I have like five. It is very heavy. Ugh. That's heavy. That's like commercial grade. Oh, that's heavy. Wow. Why is this thing so heavy? I'm shocked. There you have it. HP color laser printer. Very heavy, guys. Uh, I don't need it in the box, I guess. I'm going to set it to... We will get it you, in you the got, house. You see this? What? What it is? That's what this needs. What it needs? The plate, the front plate? Yeah. Okay. So see if you see if it's open. No, that's a different style, is it? No, it's the same. See how this one has a bigger edge? No, it's the same. It's the same. It sure is. So it's just missing the plate. Yeah, it's just missing. It might be over there somewhere. Oh, be. cool, JT. Might be. It might be. Huh? Here, man. Set that somewhere. It's heavy. The box is heavy, too. And the cord? The cord ain't no problem. Is they just the three prong? Right, Jerry? Just yeah. three prong? They ain't no problem. Those crick, crank cuts, if they miss in the cord, that's a problem. He's going to be huge. Huh? See? <coughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like the speaker. Like the speaker? Yeah. Three prong, right? Two. Or two prong? Oh, that ain't a problem. Yeah. Even though we ain't already got none, but they're not hard to get. Yeah, I'm struggling again, guys. Uh, yeah, it's tough work, guys. It really is tough work. Here we have Carmen Cottage and air conditioner unit, guys. It is covered over, but. Looking good here, guys. Just like the one we got. We got LG. There's that piece there. <coughs> Come give me a hand, JT. Brother. I'm gonna come hold the box down. Just grab right there and get some cool. Take that glove. Alright, pull. Thank you. You're gonna just use this just to push. You ain't gonna grab. Grab this here. Yeah. And then you just use your hand as a grip. Yeah, like that. And then it up. Oh, that's it. Karma's gonna test her. If it's working, I hate to say it, but we'll probably keep it too. I'm not sure. I saw it in spring. I saw it in spring or something. Mm -hmm. But I just like keeping those just for backup, you know, to be honest. So we'll bring it over here and we get it tested. We got one brand new already. <laughs> I let my old job use it. They use it more than I've ever used it. I only, you only use it one time. See, my job power went off or something. Air conditioning unit. Can we? Here. It's brand new. She's going to plug it up and see if it's working. Where's the remote? They always come over here. The remote in the box here. You got a remote in the box. Here, I'll screw it over there for you. Okay.
So pretty much guys, that's it. More jump, jump starters there. More pry cuts over here. Lots more pry cuts. As you guys can see, plenty of these. So a ton of those left. More cry cuts over there. Got a couple more over there and I don't know what's in that box there. Probably just a jump starter. I would think. But I'll make sure. Jump start. Yeah. So we got a total of one, two. Three. One, two, three. Three more cry cuts in there that I can see. That's it, man. It's time to get to work. Alright. Cool. Carmen is testing it over there, guys. It's the worker. It's the worker. I think it's working guys because I see her hair moving. <laughs> it's a worker. It is working guys. Awesome. Awesome. Time to get to work guys. There you have it. A lot of jump starters. We're out.